Right, today we've got this MacBook here, which has a bit of a prob two problems. One is that the battery doesn't last very long at all, so we have to always have it plugged in. And the second is this. So we switch it on. The screen comes on, good. I don't know if you can see that, but the screen is on. I'm trying to tilt it back a bit. Apple logo, loading. And then the screen goes off. And that's not very good, is it? And if we get some light, and put a light behind it, you can see that the, it's still there, Apple logo is still on. Still Apple. Still Apple. Anyway, what you would have seen is behind there where that Apple logo was. It would have shown the user accounts that you could have logged in as. We're not going to see that tonight. We're going to move on and just get it fixed. And also, when it was broken, you could press these buttons to adjust the brightness. If you held them for long enough, it went right down to the bottom and might come back on. This is what is suspected to be the problem. This is the, the inverter cable. You can see that that bends. Good chance that it's just that that's knackered, but there could be some other things as well. So let's get to it. We need to get this bad boy open, take the battery out, battery out, and then we need to take these screws here, along the top edge here, these screws need to come out, you just unscrew them, handy that they just stay in. These are some little shields for the RAM. Which is in here, RAM's in there. Oh, there's a loose screw in there. In here is the hard drive. Let's get these screws out. Up here. Got three screws here. One, two, three. It's great when they've got all different size screws here. And then there's quite a few screws here. We don't need to take them all out. This middle one, the left one, the right one, and the middle one again. Now we've got four screws here, and then on the CD drive, open this up. We need to pry this up. I'm not using any tools for this, I'm just using my fingers. There we go. We need to be careful because there's a cable connecting the keyboard and the trackpad to the logic board under this. Now we're in here, we've managed to get that off. Under here there's another connector that I said is connecting this to the logic board. This is difficult. There's a black tab on the top here. Pull that straight up and there it comes. Here we go, there's your keyboard. There's the little, little connector. It's got this little black tab and you just pull that straight up out of the machine. Very dusty. Right, good. Got this piece off. Let's have a look what we've got inside a MacBook. A fan with a cooling piece of copper on top of the processor here, which is a Intel Core 2 Duo processor. It acts as a sort of heat transfer mechanism. It takes the heat off of the cores, drags it back here, um, and then the fan ventilates, cools it off. That's still quite warm from when we had it on before. Our optical drive, which connects here. This will come out in a second. A bit bogging inside this one, actually. Hard drive, airport cards, RAM, logic board doings up in here. The cable comes out here. We're not taking the logic board out. First thing, tricky. Removal of the hard drive. It's got this white tab. Pull it. And it's out. There you go, lovely dotty back kind of reminds you of the iPhone 5C cases. I wonder if that's where they got the idea from. This was obviously ancient compared to iPhone 5Cs, but when they came out they had cases with them that were like that to show the colours through it. Put it over there. Two screws here. And then we want to disconnect this um, connector so it connects the optical drive to the logic board. Here underneath it we have the display data cable. It's got a black tab on top of it and we're just going to pull it up underneath that hard drive cable. Same job, pull them up. The display data cable runs underneath this piece of tape here. We need to peel this tape up. Oh, it's broken. I think that's fine. We'll figure that out after. Under here there should be a screw there. We'll take that screw out. There's another wire here which I'm going to avoid breaking. We just need to push these wires out of the way and get that screw out. Right, there we go. And then this screw as well needs to come out. This piece is a Bluetooth antenna and that needs to come out as well. Just peel it out. Hard drive cable now. 
I'll just take it past all these little clips that it's under and now we should be able to get this optical drive out. I'm coming out pal, there we go. More screws to take out now. So this one's got to come out for this model. I think that's all. Oh, now we're going to take this speaker out and just leave it dangling there. These speakers are not very big compared to what you get nowadays. I'm going to try and just speed this up a bit by not removing everything. Because we can take it so that we just take the whole monitor off. But I'm going to try and do it without doing that. Let's see. Let's take the hinge off. Take the side off. So it should have came off. This is the sort of cheater that I was talking about. We're just going to do this instead of disconnecting all that stuff. Maybe I'll take these antenna cables out because it seems like they might get a bit tight. Right, so what have we got here that's making everything a bit tight? This is what we're going for. We we'll spend all night disconnecting everything and rerouting all the cables all over the shop. I unscrewed a little cable clip that was holding that one a bit tight and then it's loose enough. To get into here we've just went under there from the inside, scooped that up and then we're just working our way around there. I think this is stuck on here. Just working our way along, taking this off. There we go. We're nearly there now. Where's my screwdriver going? Take these screws out of this, which is the clutch cover. One, two. So now this will just pop off. Just wiggle this off. And then underneath the inverter cable is here. So we'll undo this bit of tape here. Just lift the inverter out a bit. Forgot about the screw. Unscrew yourself there, brother. So now we can check if we've got the right one. Yes, looks right, looks good. Can we have a look at this inverter actually? Because the other option is that the inverter is done for. I'm not sure, but I mean, it, is, it has got a bit of dust in there. It looks all right. We'll just soldier on, will we? It can only go in one way. Let's stick that in there. Stick that back in there. Just trying to see where the screw goes and it'll be out of your way. Now she blows. Put that back in there. And we might as well put this little sticky cushion on. Clutch cover, ready to go back on already. We're in the right area here. Screws. Let's just see how it, if it worked. All right, that's that back in. Okay, so now we'll test this before we screw all this back in. Plug them in. No battery just now. Battery doesn't work in there. Power. Okay, good. Lights. And we just need it to stay on until it boots up, but it might take forever for it to boot up. No dice. Went off again. Same problem. So oh, it's a good shout on the inverter cable, but it's not the inverter cable. It must be the inverter himself. Anyway, that's that for now. We've seen how to replace the inverter cable. Mm, that didn't fix the problem here, but it might on yours. Still worth doing. So long. Mm.